Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Hubert, exfiltration time. Um, one thing I didn't quite consider when, when building the squad here uh, was having any sort of scouting here for the rescue squad to basically find out where the enemies are. Um, I guess we'll just have to wing it. I'm talking about winging it. Ooh, that's an, uh, that's an advanced priest. That needs some damage to get actually killed right away. Can you reach that guy? Oh, one tile short. What a scam. I just have to run and gun him. Yeah, it's a one tile short. Yeah, run and gun him and hope Killer Instinct does give us enough damage. Which means you just gonna come here and what? should be able to kill this guy just with your SMG. Shut up! Well, no, just stay here, please. That's better. Only 62% to crit, yeah, we need to work on your crit chance, but I guess because we have trench gun instead of uh, close personal, can be a little bit problematic. Yeah, so that happened. Okay, um, so one thing we can do then. can give an aid protocol over there, and with a uh, threat assessment that gives me an overwatch. Need of nice to have. So usually you have either a group in this direction or like in this direction. So I'm kind of trying to see... Cleaned up the design, and but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. And the snakes are really spreading out here, which makes grenades a little bit more tricky to use. Alright, so I'm thinking you need to come here. Let's move to this sector. Really need the skill, buddy. Not oh, wonderful. Okay, then we um, grab you. Sure. Do you have just thing? I have eleven. Yeah, I think that's it's got to be a firebomb then. Casual 14 damage with grenades. Don't you hate it that grenade damage falls off that much in the late game? Um, anyway, I think I'm just gonna move you here. So, whatever doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, and then we aid protocol across the map. We. Okay, and because we got the kill, we are untouchable, and so I'm kind of trying to bait an attack here. Now, ideally... Ideally, we want to damage the Archon, so he goes into a I want to melee attack mode. I think the safest way to do that, actually, is to command. Well, the safest way would have been to command here and throw a grenade at them, but, you know... That seems excessive. Yeah, so he's in battle frenzy, so he will definitely attack. I should have also moved, like, to cover. Okay. 
after Alpha but striking, but we'll somehow it's time to strike down. Taken care of. Taken care of, indeed. Well, that would have been uh, actually a nice, nice way to do um, the Skulljack. Anyway, oh look, in. oh we can actually get both of those. Let's just uh, get some sort of cover first. I don't think you'll get the officer. Just saying. Point over here. Then a side on the officer here, just so that he feels like he's being flanked. No. You get further. No. Okay, so you gotta. Got that loot. Is that enough? Damn, basic stuff. Let's get here. Um, so I have three actions, but well, a hit and run won't trigger against this guy, right? So I only get one shot. Alternatively, I could use my three actions to move, move again, shoot twice at this guy. Um, are you still in Battle Frenzy? It ends at the end of the alien turn. That's a little bit... A little bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think this move might have been a little bit. I give you strength. Oh, let's put it that way. So I want that extra move. Shot here. Get the poison. In damage. You have 11 mobility now, but you have three actions, right? So with 22, you can definitely get here and, and, and smack a roomy. You have reduced aim, 55, and I could get a given A for 8 protocol here, probably. Move you back, move you back, and we clear out the officer first. Yeah, I've got to say, I mean, this is our first Archon of the campaign, right? So Shen was giving the whole, oh, Let's look, over there. look at Mr. Fancy Pants speech. Um, so this squad definitely was weak against Archons. This challenger's death was especially intriguing. Normally, if they're in Battle Frenzy, they will not shoot full stop, but... Move it! Not super keen on that position there. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. 
if he's not 100% forced to melee, and I, but I think he is in Battle Frenzy. But if not, then at least we're grouping up a little bit so he might go for pinions. Two moves. Real damage. One point will be negated. All right, fair enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Loader and advanced auto loader. Okay. Actually, we have two people with field surgeon. If we're lucky, there's a chance that actually both points might be negated. Um, so yeah, in case things go horribly wrong, I'm just gonna a protocol myself. That should be uh, definitely a kill. An 89% kill, definitely. Even I have to admit that one was just for fun. Advanced stock. All right, cool. Uh, I think we can actually go. Save some willpower. Not that we have too many missions at the moment. Leave every man behind. Moving to position. Sure, whatever. Here I come. No slacking off. Let's see, I have to evac next turn then, because I already evac out of my command. Just in time. Hey, three kills. I'm impressed. Let's go. Let's see how we roll on the field surgeon. I don't know the math from the top of my head. Um, if you have multiple field surgeons in the team, like what the chance is for the second, third, etc., to apply, but there is a chance. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train advent forces. Although we all know if the chance is not 100% in XCOM, then it might as well be 0%. Our friend from the resistance is becoming one of our most trusted veterans. Nailed it. It's a testament to our cause. All right, um, you. So this is always an interesting uh, kind of choice. Um, we don't really didn't take Sentinel, so we don't really go for uh, when we don't really going. What we are not really going for Overwatch talents. So cool under pressure still has some value, especially with ready for anything here. But I'm not 100% convinced. Because, like, your aim... Is it is it really that bad for 75? I don't even know. Yeah, I need to... I need to can I compare your aim stats? So, the other choices. We've got Savior here. Um... I do not have any other healing talents, right? I don't have field medic, I don't have medical protocols. So if I give you one med kit, that single med kit it has four more. Usually my specialists have, of course, uh, the ablative armor, um, a vest, which, you know, 99% of the time it's going to be a nanoscale vest, and then a skull jack. 
for the hacking score and for the skull mining. So Savia kind of has zero value for me. Which leaves us with failsafe. If you fail a hack, you don't have negative effects. Allows you to be more aggressive with just trying out hacks, like on hacky towers. Um, it still ends your turn, right? If you do a haywire protocol on a mech and it fails, then that just sucks. It also prevents uh, feedback damage from, from skull mining, which is kind of nice. I'm just wondering, you know, high co high AP, what am I doing with your, with your XCOM AP if I'm not picking up something like Ready Fight? Am I gonna get much value out of Ready for Anything if you're doing airdrops and hacks and, and officer abilities? That's the other question. Okay, I'm gonna hold off and then you wanna see um, how that 75 aim compares to to our shooter here. Um, it, it feels low, right? 75 is like the max a rookie can roll and he's kept, or whatever rank he is, technically tech sergeant. Yeah. All right, master sergeant rank for the skirmisher. Now, um, there's this thing, right, Battlelord, which uh, to me is always a, yeah, I don't actually know how that works, so I'm not going to take it. And it feels very, very, um, you know, you have to have a lot of enemies left alive to get any advantage out of this. And uh, that always seems a little sketch. Lethal, straightforward, plus two damage on each of your shots. You usually take two shots a turn. Um, we don't have Marauder or anything that allows us to take more than two shots per turn. So that's solid for four points of damage. And then you have Reckoning, which gives you a charge attack. So a double move into, into attacking an enemy with melee, with your ripjack. Um, that only costs single action now. So it's a lot of mobility. The downside of Reckoning is, um, of course, it has a cooldown. So why it gives you a full additional attack, not just plus two damage on your attacks, but you know, it's gonna be, I think, not sure, a tier three ripjack does what, 12 damage or so? Maybe 10, I don't know. Um, so on that turn, it's gonna be more damage, but overall, because of the cooldown, it's less damage than lethal. That being said, the other reason why I usually don't take Reckoning is I kind of like not having to upgrade or worry at all about the Ripjack, right? We're still having the basic Ripjack and I see no reason um, to upgrade it for more damage. Um, because we rarely click that button or press that button. Ah, uh, you know what? Taking Reckoning. Yeah, about time you get the training center online so we can pick up Hunter's Instinct. We get our plus two damage from here, right? Oh, with, together with Lethal. Yeah. Oh well, I might regret this. Succeeded in our task. So let's hunt one of the chosen here. For some reason, the warlock is seven days, while the assassin is eight days. Okay. Very strange. Ah. 
we need to bring a a tech sergeant at least so ambush chance is fairly low i could just look again for some xp benefits like we're not running any missions Here's a question. Are you two ever gonna get any sort of compatibility bond uh, bond thingamabobs going? Hopefully not. Although I'm not even sure if I really want to bond them. For the covert actions it would be great, but like it's not the best the best bond combination. Um, I think we can bring someone from the, the lower ranks here. Yeah, I'm checking a little bit if anyone is super close to promotion. Yeah, question. Oh, didn't we have someone else also super close? You get the promotion at 70. By the way, I really wish it would also show for Psy Operators when they get the next rank. I'm not sure why it's not showing the XP like that. 20 is already at the next rank, I'm fairly certain. Oh, I think we're gonna we're gonna yeah, you're two XP away from a promotion. So you're gonna come. Just gonna switch it around a little bit. Um, okay, so you're gonna come. Sure, you actually have plating. Rest is fine. Then we're gonna bring definitely you for the. For the boost. Beam. It just feels efficient, right, to find somebody with um who's like free XP away from a promotion. Just slot them in then. So um, apologies if it takes a little bit longer for me to find just the right candidate. I think, yeah, it's, it's not gonna be from this one, but you're gonna go on the next go action then too. Uh, let's make sure you also have some sort of equipment. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. All right, next up. I wanted to compare specialist aim values here. Alright, so you got 75 at Corporal, you got 86 at Gunnery Sergeant, so 75 at Tech Sergeant is kind of crappy. Um, so you know, I'm just going to go with Failsafe. If I actually do something with pistol skills for you, since you do have high combat intelligence and I don't have much to do, like we could just get a, a quick draw clutch shot and then give you red screen rounds and then you want to be super hacky, hacky boy, hacky McHackerson. I don't know. It's like such an, such an awkward situation here for, with him. Alright, um, then we also have open slots in the GTS, and we have, I think, two officers who should be training. I should have 
thrown you into training much, much earlier already. Um, but now that you just had a promotion, I think we're going to train you. to collector get us more intel please it's come mining we're doing that we're doing this all right um one thing i wanted to do quickly while we're here is take a you know take a step back look at the world map and just you know um analyze our current situation Sure. So just for, for for everyone here. So we had a decent start. Um, we got a fairly early liberation in here in New India. Um, took a little bit longer to recruit up to to the eleven people that we have now, but I think that's that went well. That went well. Um, the second region here being ready for with the the network tower is also good. So that's all super fun. Um, I've talked a lot about, okay, so what if we were to liberate this, we had no regions to run missions in, so we're now sitting in that situation where we need to expand for 200. Um, so often in a campaign at this point, right, after your first liberation and, you know, your initial expansion with what contacts you can have at the start, um, you kind of lose a little bit focus of what should be my goal at this stage of the campaign. Sure, teching up, you know, getting getting better weapon tech, uh, training up your soldiers, that's one thing, but um, there's two aspects to the game as in, first of all, how do I actually win? Which is going for the story missions and keeping an eye on the black side and expanding in that direction. And more importantly, I would say, how do I not lose? The biggest lose condition or the biggest threat to losing the campaign is, well, there are two threats. First of all, the Avatar project, which, you know, as long as you go for story missions and or take down facilities when you find them and do the covert actions for Avatar progress, that should be no problem. The bigger threat is these guys. When they get full knowledge, they can launch an uh, assault on the Avenger. And it's, at the moment, I would say one of the, if not the hardest mission in the game and can easily be game over. So what I'm trying to do with my covert actions right now is unlock the mission to go into his little hidey hole and just kill him and her. And, and that guy we don't know about yet. So um, if you can do that before they reach full knowledge, which I think we're on a good road um, to actually get there, that's fantastic. Uh, if not, then uh, take the Avenger defense seriously. Like if, if they have full knowledge and you get the monthly report and it says, can launch an assault on the Avenger, keep your A team and your B team at base keep enough money so that you can equip everybody, make sure you have the defense metrics up and staffed and upgraded. That's really like, take that mission seriously. Anyway. Setting course for the Arctic. And yeah, the other thing is with the, the mid-game strategy um, Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulltack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Oh, I was waiting for our officer to get back, right? So that we can actually run this. Let's run this instead. Ben City Crate Extraction. Wonderful. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Um, all right, let's, let me finish my train of thought. Uh, research. It's super easy to get distracted with all the research options, especially with um, any sort of autopsies. Kinda, I would suggest limiting your research and not losing line of sight of weapon tech. 
get your coral weapons and slowly go for plasma. You probably want plasma. I want to say as a rule of thumb by September. I think September. Maybe November. Like, you know, I'm, I'm always saying like every two months you should have your weapon upgrades. So your campaign starts in March. So in May you want to have a laser. In July you want to have Mac. September for coil, November for plasma. But a little bit earlier is not wrong. Um, anyway, fairly easy. Like generous mission timer, seven to nine enemies. So let me actually throw everybody out. We cancel the collector training and get um, Trial of Fire value out of this. I think we do. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have him working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Oh boy, I really wish I could lock both of them in a room and then he can talk about the Skulljack while what Shen talks about... Uh, or engineers who cannot be assigned anywhere that they should be assigned somewhere. All right, let's look. Um, I think you are technically sergeant now, so it's like Andy and any anyone below Andy could get a promotion out of this. So I think definitely always try to get psionics promoted. Um, get another shinobi promoted, yes. Do I want a specialist, do I want a technical, or do I want one of the shooters here? So, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get some promotions, right, with Trouble Fire. At the same time, I also really need to promote at the top end, like, and, and in the middle. Which is the whole problem with not getting any missions right now. Um, I kind of have to pick and choose. But man, 79 aim sharpshooter. I think, I think we need to give you a chance to, to level up a little bit. Especially, you know, getting that first promotion so you can pick up that from above makes you twice as good, at least. All right, so that's uh, four people for the promotion and then three people to actually do the mission with. Uh, I think you are seven XP away from a promotion. You're definitely gonna get that. I'm not sure I want to bring grenades on this. So I think instead we're gonna bring... Gunner and Ranger. Let's bring other Gunner and Technical. Before promotion, we should be getting that. All right, um, you get your stuff back on.
We are five days away from getting skull mining. So we're taking seven days here to infiltrate. Alright, you can stay like this. I think you can stay like this. Although I would give you a pop plating here. How many armors do we actually have? Got four equipped, nine available. Didn't even know we had the cosmetic version here for the Witcher Swords. Fancy. Selecting that sword mess up your, your armor? No. Um, do I have any money at the moment? I've got 20 money. We kinda want a upgrade for you sooner or later. Let's just buy one. That actually fits together. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, and then we think we steal the sniper rifle. That mobility, yeah, you know what? Leave an empty slot. I think I can I can totally afford to give you ever plating. Even though you should be in the back and not getting hit. Alright, anything else? Looks all good. Guys, get me some money. Yeah, so let's scan for one more day and then we can set up the network tower. Lightning reflexes for stun lancers and other enemies, which I think is that where then no, I think snakes, advanced snakes automatically have lightning reflexes, although they also get it from that dark event. I don't even know. Um, and I already know that I forgot to use that slot in the officer training school for Ditrix. Alright. So, let's throw in Amy to scout around a bit. Let's get... Yeah, sure, let's get the grenades. I think um, grenades are still strong enough to clean up within those three turns. Uh, yeah. Trench gun, clean up. A little bit torn. I like sharpshooters on network towers, but you can get really unlucky and not have any high ground. Uh, or not have any high ground that you can reach without having a grappling hook. So I'm kind of a little bit hesitant here. Um,
both birds. It's gonna be nice though. Like sure we could bring our skirmisher, but it's a it's a strength to network tower, right? Like, this is this should be fairly easy, so I'm kinda trying to see more like feeding XP to somebody. Probably line up a nice null lands on the stunned enemies on that turn. Like it's not ideal, I think, having a psionic on that that particular mission, because you know you usually only do one one thing each turn. Soul fire next turn, you know, lands next turn, you soul fire again, which is well, and we have the fuse. Well, you know what? And we have stasis. It's a little bit get out of jail card. It's fine. Let's make armor available. What did I give you? I did give you hidden run, so I don't think. No, I do think we have a second SMG, but that's on a mission. All right, so you're not getting any good weapon. Because any of those weapons will increase your detection radius, and that's what we want to avoid. So, oh well. Take a sword then. Plating. So ideally, no enemy ever has an action, right? Because we stun them with the hack, we kill them while they're stunned. GG. So why am I making sure that everybody has armor? Well, the thing is, if things go wrong on this mission, they go really wrong. Like If we get detected in some unlucky fashion, then suddenly we're really, really, really um, in a bad position. And at that point, I want to be as strong as possible so that we can still win the mission. It's going to give us 24 intel, which is kind of what we need to actually make contact. Okay. I was torn like, is there anything? I feel like I'm forgetting something, but no, that's fine. Sky Ranger deploy. Menace ready to deploy. Hey, two missions infiltrating. What? So that's an invasion. <laughs> um, what? Okay, first things first. Sky Ranger deployed. About this infiltration. We completed our research in remarkable time, command. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, Tiger. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got, uh, we got a situation here. Once things are weapons inspired. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can actually do that. Uh, we need to do that to get eventually to plasma weapons and for the weapon upgrades. Two allies, ten crystals, you know, sure, let's let's get it out of the way. We don't have the money for anything else at the moment anyway. Otherwise I would be doing intel research, I'd but it's taking a bit of a backseat. I 
And I'm not going to do the GTS train, although... Am I going to bring Dietrich on the retaliation? Probably not. So let's just, while I'm thinking about it, get you in here. I think it's too late to have another um, travel fire. Probably. Then they end up with newbies in the squad and like, oh, I wish I had tribal fire. Uh, what's the timer? What's the timer we have on this? 21 hours. All right. So uh, when I was saying that the uh, Avenger Assault is one of the hardest missions in the game, this is probably close to it, depending on the map layout. Like, you can get seriously overwhelmed it can also be like a free corpse farm so which is you know a bit of a bit of a swing in mission difficulty is open. i guess it's a um assassin region so that's gonna be a big advantage like we we, we have the assassin's number like we can just bully her uh, out of the mission we get full salvage, full corpses from that mission. So I think I'm just gonna sell the vipers here for money. I, I want, I want some more coil rifles. Right, that's that's my goal here. Um, you know, of course, I'm back up to twenty. So let's sell some of those. Uh, sure, we're gonna get some sectoids, and I don't think we have much else to sell at the moment because I've been kind of probably too often here at the black market and selling stuff. I guess basic scopes and basic laser sights can go. I know we have two sniper rifles with stocks, so let's keep one more stock available. We got an elite stock available, so I think we can sell it all advanced stocks, yeah. Stock market. All right, so an invasion can happen when a region adjacent to a liberated region has strength eight. Now, we knew that Eastern Europe had high strength when that supply rate was coming in. I would never have expected it to have strength eight. That's nuts. Uh, I'm assuming it's coming from Eastern Europe. Obviously can't come from here. We know this is six and six, and we have no idea about East Africa. Um, usually, when you see an adjacent region at strength 8, you can run a little bit of intel here to detect the supply rate that comes in before the invasion happens. Uh, also, if you're afraid of having an invasion, having an actual soldier haven advisor instead of a freaking engineer on the mission certainly helps. Um, codex cannot be changed right now. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. That was kind of unexpected. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Raptang, uh, Bradford, even. Um, so this is this is deceiving, right? Enemy activity ten to twelve. Uh, seems like oh, that's an easy mission. Problem is, of course, you're gonna have reinforcements. Um, I think starting a few turns into the mission, and then similar to the EVEC um, retaliation, they're gonna get stronger and stronger each turn. You might get a turn somewhere in between where no reinforcements come in, but just assume every turn you get reinforcements and they're gonna get stronger and stronger. To win the mission, you need to destroy like a, a relo relay on the other side of the map that stops the reinforcements, kill the rest, and you won. Um, so kind of similar to uh, the original UFO defense uh, mission, uh, or other Avenger defense mission, where you have to, you know, destroy the relay. Uh, right. I want Amy here. I want Santanos here. I want Paolo. Definitely Brass. 
Copy and Corrections. Uh, let's see. Green Day. So sniping the objective can work really well, but we only have like one of our mech rifles is out on the other mission, and I don't want to build another sniper rifle. Like the next sniper rifle I build is going to be a coil rifle, so let's go with a single sharpshooter. But you're yeah, gonna have the spooder suit. The spider suit will improve our soldiers' chances of dodging an attack, while also providing increased agility and grappling capability. Paint. Alright, two more slots. Uh, definitely should bring a psionic or two. We don't have our Overwatch Specialist, because he's on the other mission, but I didn't want to cancel that other mission, right? So, any mission where you have constant reinforcements, Overwatch soldiers are going to be really good. Um, but yeah, we don't have that. We do, however, have two Rangers, so we want to have two more core weapons. Then I'm kind of uh, kind of confusing things here. It's quite shorty, not a thing. No, I don't think that's a thing. Not in base, uh, long walls are chosen. All right, strip your upgrades. Get a quad rifle. And keeping the autoloader scope. Get the expanded mag, hair trigger, and the laser sight since you can crit now. Alright. We do have an armor for you. We do have an armor. You're armored up. Mech cannon. Armor, armor, armor. Okay, everybody's wearing armor. Everybody has weapons. like in what I'm doing, but let's get an Ionic Rip Jack. Seven damage and the stun chance of five percent. Next question is, do I want to give you some special ammo? I've kind of ignored that so far, always, you know, going for mobility, mobility. If I put ammo in here, you at 18 mobility. Is still really good. Mm. 
plus three damage on a crit. Uh, you know, let's, let's let's see if we can get talon rounds to work here with you. Not have any specialists, so no point bringing like redskin runs. Sixty supplies here. Debating getting you a a subcoiler. Debate's over. Uh, what are you currently rocking here? Expanded Max Suppressor Scope. Yeah, we should have that without stripping it. Actually, let's give you a loader instead. Um, it's close enough. And then you can actually get this and maybe take advantage of your hidden run. Alright, invasion time. We're gonna face the assassin again. We're gonna um, hopefully get a nice map where we can somewhat easily destroy the relay. And depending on how the mission goes, I might not destroy the relay for a few turns and get some of our enemy reinforcements in and kill them. Because again, it's a full salvage mission. Anything you kill, even the reinforcements, will give you corpses. But um, I want to make sure that any corpses I bring home for this mission are Advent and Alien corpses and not XCOM corpses. So we'll see how that goes in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.